Hi, I'm Dave from Outdoor Connection. Congratulations on getting yourself one of our top of the range Aria Air Pole tents. I'm gonna take you through how to set up this baby so that you, your mates, your family, or your co-hosts are happy campers. Hey, slow down there, big fella. The first thing you need to do after buying yourself a tent is to set it up at home and make sure it's all there. But more importantly, you get to set it up while no one's looking so that you'll look like an expert with your new tent at the campground. In the box, you'll find the inner tent, the fly, the included air pole pump, a bag of awning poles, and a bag of pegs and guy ropes. Before you start, select a dry, level area and clear the ground of any sharp or dangerous objects. Lay your Duramesh tarp down and then spread out the floor of the inner tent. Outdoor Connection's Duramesh tarp is a UV stable, heavy duty mesh tarp. It lets water run straight through, protecting the floor of your tent from water and other nasties on the ground. Peg out all four corners, ensuring that the floor is firm and square, but not tight. The next step is to inflate the poles. Each pole has a Boston valve. These are designed for letting air in, but not out. Now insert the appropriate nozzle and pump. Using the pressure gauge, inflate the pole to 8 to 10 psi. Keep going, Cam. The pressure gauge only works while you're pumping. If you stop, the needle will slowly go down. Now peg out the rest of the peg points on the inner tent. For extra stability, there are two ridge poles for the Aria 1. And three for the Aria 2. The shorter poles are for the inner tents and the longer pole is for the porch area. Open the access zip in the roof of each room and Velcro the ridge pole into position. Open out the fly and find the rear corners. The ones near the window are the go. If you don't want to put it on backwards. Starting at the front, pull the fly lengthwise over the inner tent. Remember, you only have to do it once. After this, the fly stays on, making setup and pack down a breeze. Attach the Velcro tabs inside the fly to the air poles. These tabs are at the middle of the pole at the apex, at the top of the wall, and halfway down the wall. To create this beautiful porch, inflate the porch pole. The strap holds the ends of the pole the right distance apart. Don't forget about the ridge pole in the porch ceiling. And to avoid tripping over the strap, you can unclip it, roll it up, and secure it with this Velcro tie. Or you can cover it with a Duramesh tarp. Next, peg out the fly. Do up the clips at the bottom of the air pole. Peg out the back corners and rear door. It's better if two of you do this, to get it straight. Now these are a double loop, so make sure to thread it through both. Now go to the front corners, pull the whole side taut and peg that out. We recommend you always use these guy ropes for more stability and protection from unexpected winds. Here's a tip. Twist the guy rope a couple of times before pegging it out to stop it humming in the breeze. There are some extra guy rope points if it's very windy. The front door can be turned into an awning using the three adjustable steel awning poles. The outside poles should be lower to allow for rain runoff. And optional side walls can be attached to the sides of the awning to give added weather protection. These side panels can be rolled back to give you more awning area. When it comes to packing down, make sure the tent is completely dry as mold can set in quickly and is hard to remove. If you do have to pack it up wet, put it up again as soon as possible to dry it out. Once you've set it up the first time, uh, you can leave the fly attached and roll it up together from then on. This will save you heaps of setup time in the future. Here's how to pack down the Aria. Remove the ridge poles first and deflate. Remove all the pegs except the corners of the inner. In strong winds, drop the tent before taking the pegs out. 
Unscrew all the valves to deflate the air poles. Zip up the doors and windows on both the inner and fly. Leave the bottom of the inner tent doors unzipped so that the air can escape when the tent is dropped. Fold the porch over the rest of the tent. Lay the ridge poles across the tent with all the Boston valves at the same end. Ensure all the Boston valves are open. Straighten out the tent as much as possible, then remove the remaining pegs. Starting from the front door and working towards the back door, fold approximately 50 to 60 centimetres over and continue folding over to the end. Start from the opposite end to the Boston valves. Roll the tent as tightly as possible towards the valves. Secure the roll with the tent ties and place in the bag. Don't forget the pegs and awning poles. So there you have it, the fantastic new Aria Air Pole Tent. Don't forget to read the care instructions. I'm Dave. And I'm Cammie. We're from Outdoor Connection. Catch you later. Check out our website where you'll find video how-tos and many tips and tricks to make your time in the bush a quality experience.